sick building syndrome. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, the average Americans spend 87% of their life inside building. The sick building syndrome is used to describe a situation in which the occupants of a building experience acute health or comfort-related effects that seem to be linked directly to the time spent in the building. About 10 to 30% of modern building may cause sick building syndrome. It is not possible to confirm that a building is sick by using technical measurements. People experiences and problem are used as basis for judgment. The most common symptoms of SBS may include headaches and dizziness, aches and pains, irritated, blocked or runny nose, eye and throat irritation, nausea, fatigue, skin irritation, and poor concentration. It is important to try and understand the cause of sick building syndrome so that they can be avoided in future. These are following cause that may make people sick and cause difficulties. Following point will explain in detail in further videos. Poor ventilation, poor material, low humidity, fluctuation in room temperature, poor lighting, inadequate sound insulation, 